What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in Swift programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about compound assignment operators. So let's get started. Now let's start off by declaring a variable. We're going to use the var keyword and we're going to call our variable a, right? And we're going to say our variable equals the integer value of 1. So variable a equals 1. a is an integer data type and we gave it a value of 1. And let's say a equals a plus 2. Let's say we, if we wanted to add uh, 2 to our variable a, right? We would normally use a expression like this. a equals a plus 2, right? So we can print that on the screen and I'll show you. So print ln, open a close parentheses. Inside this open a close parentheses, we're going to print out the value of a. So we're going to type in a inside the open and close parentheses. So let's hit play. Build succeeded and it printed out 3 because again, our variable started out with a value of 1. Then we said a equals a itself, which had a value of 1 plus 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3, and 3 gets stored in a. So that's how we added 2 to our variable. We just said a equals a plus 2. Now, this is a long way to write this. There's a short way, and it's called compound assignment operator. And I'll show you which one I'm talking about right now. And, it's, and I'm going to show you the addition assignment operator first. So we're going to rewrite that expression. We're going to say a plus symbol equals symbol. Let's, let's create a space. So we're going to say a, this plus symbol and equal symbol together, uh, two, right? So basically this does the same thing that our other line of code did, but it's a lot shorter. So a is equal to a plus 2. So it basically saves the value of itself plus 2 and it all does this in this little code here. So I'll, I'll give you an example of that right now. We're going to print the value of a on the screen and we already have this print line statement so let's just test it out. I'm going to hit play here. Build succeeded and it printed out 3 just like our other expression. Now this is just a cool neat way to do it without writing all that code. Now I'm going to show you the opposite. We're going to use the minus. So again, we're going to put the minus in front of this equal symbol. And it's going to do the same thing, but it's going to minus instead of plus. So let's hit play. Build succeeded. And now it's negative 1 because first, remember, a had a value of 1. We said a equals itself minus 2. So 1 and negative 2 make a negative 1. So that's how we got that answer down there. So this is called a subtraction assignment operator, and this is a, just a quick way to write that. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.